Hi everyone, it is Tony here from Custom PCs Australia. If your PC has been running slowly and you want to look for a way to speed it up, uh, we're here today with a few tips to help you do just that. So we move straight to tip number one, which is to free up some storage space. So the first thing we want to do here is head down to the Windows icon, click on that one and then click on the settings icon. Uh, now look up to system, click on that one, and we're going to look for the storage option. Click on that and that's going to bring up all of our available storage drives. So the first thing I would recommend doing here is heading down to storage sense. If you don't have that on, um, switch that to on. That'll automatically clean up uh, files that aren't needed. Um, so yeah, switch that one on. Uh, now head up to temporary files uh, and you're going to see a whole lot of files in here. Um, now pretty much most of these you're going to be able to get rid of. So pretty much the only ones I would recommend keeping here are your Windows upgrade log files, uh, your Windows error reports, and your uh, Microsoft Defender antivirus, temporary internet files, um, delivery optimization. Um, downloads is a big one. You normally have a, a lot of storage wasted in there. Uh, now normally when you download something you will move that uh, to a place that you want to keep it. Um, so the rest of the stuff that's in your downloads file, um, get rid of that. You know, I have 40 gigabytes in there. So clean that out and you'll have a lot more storage space. Click back to storage and then look at your uh, cleanup recommendations. Um, so once you head in there, you'll see a few options that they're giving you. Uh, and these are recommended files that uh, you can get rid of without worrying. So the next step, uh, we're going to have a look at an app called PC Manager, which is from Microsoft. Um, so for this one, we just want to head into the Windows Store uh, and just uh, type in the search field there for PC Manager. You'll see it just there. So click on that one. Uh, click on Get, and that will download it onto your computer. So once it's downloaded, just click on Open. Uh, and this is going to open up uh, Microsoft's PC Manager. Now this is a really, really useful app. Uh, a lot of things you can do on here. Um, so you'll see here uh, you've got uh, an area that says Boost. So essentially this will clean up all temporary files and give your system a bit of a boost. So as you can see when you click it, uh, your files go down to zero. So um, really, really handy just to give you a little um, performance boost. So we're going to head into the storage area here. Uh, and you can see you've got a disk cleanup section there. Uh, you've got manage large files, so really handy. Um, you can uh, separate that by the size of the file, so you can just find really big files and uh, get rid of those. So really helpful in being able to just manage and find where those really big files are that are taking up space. Um, now startup apps is something we want to have a look at. Um, all of these can have an impact on your performance. So scroll down have a look at everything that's there, um, disable everything that you don't necessarily want uh, or you don't think that you really is a must have for you. Um, so yeah, have a look down the list, uh, disable as many of those as you can uh, and obviously um, yeah, keep the ones that you, you want to keep running when you start your computer up. So click on home again when you finish that section there. Um, now you can see here our temporary files have gone up again. Um, if you want to, you can just keep clicking that boost uh, and that will always just uh, get those down to zero. Um, so here, uh, the best thing to do here is run a virus scan. Um, so just clicking on that button there will run a full virus scan. That can uh, obviously be causes of uh, slowness on your PC as a virus. You can also run a disk cleanup from here. Um, so this, uh, it's probably worth doing even if you've done the previous steps, just because there may be things that you've missed or you didn't pick up. Um, and this is a really uh, easy to use little tool um, so you can uh, get rid of uh, any files that you're not needing. The whole idea is we are really trying to get as much disk space free as possible. So now we're going to have a look at optimizing our drives. Uh, if you go down to the search field and put in optimize, um, you'll see the diagnose and optimize uh, drive come up. So click on that one, you'll see your list of drives here. So 
Uh, for me, uh, and what I would recommend for, for everyone else, um, this should be set up to automatically happen. Uh, I've got it set up to automatically happen once a week. Um, so you can click on one of your drives, um, and then you can uh, click on the optimize button. It doesn't actually take that long, um, probably takes a couple of minutes, um, but that will optimize your drives um, to make sure everything's running as fast as it can be. So the next thing we want to do is we want to remove programs that we aren't using. Um, so click on your Windows icon, click on settings, and then we want to head over to apps. Um, so now we want to click on installed apps, and that will bring up uh, every app that we have installed on the computer. Now have a good look down this list. Um, anything that you don't use anymore, uh, just click on the three little uh, dots there on the right hand side uh, and uninstall that. So the next thing we want to do is we want to disable some visual effects. So type that into the search bar and click the best match at the top there. And you're going to see two options here. Uh, so you want to disable the transparency effects and the animation effects. So once you actually disable these, you're going to notice the computer starts responding to you much, much quicker. So now we want to head into Advanced System Settings, so type that into your search box there. Once you've done that, you hit the best match up the top there. So click on that one. Now in the dialog box, you want to click on the Advanced tab, then select Settings under the Performance area. Now in the Visual Effects tab, you want to select Adjust for Best Performance. And once you've done that, just uh, head down the bottom there and click Apply, and then OK. Alright, so for this one we're going to uh, get Windows to check our system files uh, and check our disk for any errors. So we want to type in CMD into the uh, search bar, choose the command prompt, make sure you run it as administrator. Uh, once you get into the command prompt, uh, you want to type in sfc forward slash scannow, sfc scan now. So type that in and press enter. So this may take a few minutes, Windows will literally run through all of your system files find any errors uh, or missing files and repair them. Now once that's finished, wait for the command prompt to come up and now we're going to run the check disk command. So we want to type in chkdsk, check disk, uh, and press enter. And now that will then run through um, quite a few different processes on your C drive. So it's going to look for any bad segments and it's going to attempt to repair them. So let that run its course. Again, that'll take a few minutes. So once you've done these two, uh, restart your computer and hopefully you've got a nice speedy computer. Okay, so now we're going to have a look for some uh, updates. So we're going to see if there's any available updates that uh, might help our computer run a little bit faster. So click on the uh, Windows icon, uh, click on Settings, and then Windows Update, uh, and then check for updates at the top right there. So this will, uh, if you've already got an update available, it will be sitting there waiting for you. Uh, so obviously you want to go ahead and download that. Now click on Additional Options, uh, and you will see here that you'll have some optional updates. So if we click on the Optional Updates, uh, and just have a look there for anything under driver updates. If there's anything there, download that as well. You'll need to restart your computer once you've done this. Uh, and hopefully, again, we've got a nice speedy computer. So the last step, and really the last resort, this one, uh, is resetting your entire computer and reinstalling Windows. So just type reset into the search bar. 
and you'll see this reset this PC option. So click on that one. Uh, now choose remove everything. That will literally wipe the drive. Uh, now for obvious reasons, I'm not going to go uh, any further than this, but once you go to the next step there, uh, it's going to ask if you want a local reinstall uh, or any install over the internet. Choose the local reinstall option uh, and that will then go ahead and completely wipe your computer. So obviously the idea with this one, uh, it will take away any settings issues you have, any drive issues you have, uh, it'll be just like a brand new computer again. But again, this is a last choice option. Um, make sure you've taken any files that you need off the computer before doing this step. So hopefully one or a few of these options has helped your PC go from very slow to very fast. If you've enjoyed this content, we really would appreciate a like or subscribe on this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and we will do our best to answer them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.